It's me, Goku! With Cell totally gone, Earth is finally at peace once again. Hard to believe that was seven years ago. I can't help but wonder what everyone's up to. Well, look at that! Gohan's as tall as me now. I'd love to go a few rounds with everyone again. Stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Ball Z Galactic Showdown with the mighty Majin Buu. You really don't want to miss it, trust me. Gohan, how long do you intend to keep that look? Since Dad died, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Trust me, Mom, I have my reasons. Well, suit yourself. But for the record, I much prefer your normal look to this gaudy Super Saiyan business. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, you get bigger with each passing day. And you look more like your father, too. Y you think so? Your fashion choices are yours to make, provided you keep up with your studies. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I'm not sure where to start. Maybe Piccolo can give me some good advice. Hey! Hello? <laughs> Thank you. Later. Um, Piccolo? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Sure, yeah. But why are you still a Super Saiyan? Huh? I don't really know how to explain why, but I'm trying to continue my training. You still feel responsible for your dad's death, huh? Yeah, that's part of it. I need to make sure I'm strong enough to protect the Earth now. That's why I'm still a Super Saiyan. I want my body to get used to this form a bit more. I see. So it looks like I didn't need to worry after all. Huh? Since Frieza showed up, even after we believed he was dead, I always thought I had to be on my guard. But if Cell or some new android show up, you're the only one that has what it takes to beat them. So I planned on giving you a push in the right direction when you needed it. But I guess you really didn't need me to do that. Oh, so that's what you mean. It makes me happy to hear you have so much faith in me. <laughs> so, you got a more concrete training regimen planned? Just being a Super Saiyan isn't going to cut it, you know. Yeah, it's just... I still don't know what else I can do. Hmm, I guess that's understandable. You pretty much did all you could do in the hyperbolic time chamber. Do you have any ideas? With regards to your strength, you're probably as strong as you can get right now. So you won't see much rapid improvement in terms of raw power. What you lack is mental fortitude. Mental fortitude? Your dad, he knows how to remain focused in battle. You, on the other hand, you're still too emotional. 
You might be right about that. If I had focused more, I could have prevented Cell from self-destructing. So... What should I do? Hmm... You might not like this suggestion, but why don't you try training with Vegeta? He's the strictest guy around when it comes to emotion. And not just with others, but with himself too. He might be able to provide some insight into the mental aspects of combat. Understood. I'll go ask Vegeta if he can help me out. Vegeta so I can ask for his help. What do you want? Would you mind fighting me so I can get stronger? My dad died because of me. I need to get stronger, so something like that doesn't happen again. It's up to me to maintain peace now. I need to protect Earth in my dad's place. Don't be absurd. You think Kakarot's dead because of you? You're the one that's going to replace him? You arrogant, spoiled little brat! Huh? But I... Damn it. I wasn't planning on fighting ever again, but I've changed my mind now. Come at me. I'll beat the arrogance out of you. Yeah! <laughs> You're finished! <laughs> 
nothing. We're done. You were far more powerful than this when you defeated Cell. You were holding back, weren't you? No, that's not true. A soft, spineless brat like you could never replace Kakarot. Stupid child. Yeah, Vegeta's right. I can't define who I am based on who my dad was. I... I need to do some serious soul searching. I... I'd better stay a Super Saiyan a little longer. Mom's not gonna be happy about it, though. Greetings! <laughs> Thank you so much! This thing's filled with power! What do you think? Thank you so much! Right! Excuse me! What? <sighs> Huh? Yes! Hey! Let's see! What? Sure. Was that sound? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, oh! You! Hi! Very well. Indeed. I think I can take this guy.
There's a sunken ship! to come home? Finally got your priorities straight, huh? That's my boy. While you're at it, how about losing the wild hair? Fine. I'll tone it down. Around the house. You'll be going to a respectable school one day. We can't have your classmates thinking you're some renegade rock star. Okay, okay. I'll limit it to my training. School, huh? huh? That'll be something. Thanks to Gohan and his father, the planet was freed from Cell's evil clutches. The people of Earth were finally able to live in peace once again. However, during times of peace, People have a tendency to foolishly grow complacent. Such is the fate of mankind. About seven years had passed since the confrontation with Cell. This is the quiet settlement of Satan City. Here resides Mr. Satan, the man mistakenly believed to have saved the planet. The city was renamed after him for his heroism. Gohan is now 16 years old. <laughs> 
With no schools anywhere near his country home, he had no choice but to do homeschooling and correspondence courses. But eventually, his mother, Chi-Chi, decided to send him to a high school in Satan City. Armed bandits began appearing so frequently in Satan City that Gohan began to run into them on his way to school from time to time. To combat the crime in the city, Gohan would transform into a Super Saiyan and make short work of those that disturb the peace. To protect his identity, Gohan made sure to leave the scene as quickly as possible. The mysterious hero came to be known as the Golden Fighter, and rumors quickly spread about his true identity. The Golden Fighter again, huh? Who the heck is this guy? From Super Saiyan to Superhero, That took way too long. I need to hurry. Oh man, I'm gonna be late. I have to hurry. I'm finally at the high school. I wonder if I can get an You're the new guy. Gohan, is that right? I'm Erisa. Nice to meet you. And this here's Videl. You won't believe this. Videl's dad is none other than the legendary Mr. Satan. Really? M Mr. Satan? See, I told you you weren't gonna believe it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You were late today, weren't you? Did you happen to see the bank robbery in town? Oh, uh... I'm not sure. The Golden Fighter took out all the bandits. Uh, uh, okay. Why are you so interested in bank robberies? Well, you see, Videl's a bit of a crime fighter herself. Makes total sense though, right? She is Mr. Satan's daughter. She's really tough. The police even sometimes ask for her help. Wow, you don't say. You know, you've got the same build as the Golden Fighter. Huh? Huh, I need to do something to mask my identity. Maybe I'll ask Bulma for her input. <laughs> Look who you're talking to. This pushover's no match for a bunch of robbers. Hmm. We've got baseball practice up next, right? We'll find out if you're really tough enough to fight crime soon enough. You've got no hope of getting a hit off my pitches. <laughs> Gotta make sure I hold back most of my strength. Mom and Bulma both warned me to keep my power in check to avoid causing a huge uproar. Man, it sure is hard living a normal life. Let's see how you handle my ultra fastball. I've got to take this nice and easy. You're not getting a single hit off me. hit my pitch? I, I just got lucky, that's all. Yeah, 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 you're right. Your stance was way off, too. Wow, so even that was too much. I'll head to Bulma's place later and ask her for some advice. Something's up with him. I need to talk to Bulma. 
Hopefully Bulma can help me figure something out. Hi, Bulma. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, hey, Gohan. What's up? Hmm. You need some sort of disguise to hide your identity. So, do you have any idea how I can do that? Of course. I am a genius, after all. Really? Please, whatever it is, I'll take it. No problem. It'll take some time, though, so sit tight. Thanks. You have no idea how much this will help me. Oh, yeah. Do you know where Trunks is? I'd like to talk to him while I'm waiting. He's probably getting whipped into shape by Vegeta in the gravity chamber. Vegeta mentioned something about making him stronger than you. Oh, yeah? Wow, he sure is intense. The gravity chamber, huh? Where was that again? When did you get here? Not too long ago. The word on the street is that your dad's putting you through some grueling training. Yep. He promised he'd take me to the amusement park if I can land one hit on him. Really? Vegeta said that? Keep at it then. I know you can do it. Yeah. I'll make sure my dad keeps his promise. Guess I should say hi to Vegeta while I'm here. Hi, Vegeta. Sorry to interrupt. Go on. Look at you. You're out of shape. Even in times of peace, you should be training. Uh, right. Speaking of training, I hear you're teaching Trunks how to fight. I am. He's more than old enough to prepare himself for real combat by now. And he'll soon surpass you if you keep sitting on your ass like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I gave Trunks some words of encouragement earlier. He's looking forward to going to the amusement park. <laughs> He's only going if he can manage to hit me. But that's not going to happen. Timing, Gohan. <laughs> it's ready. Not fair. Make me one, Mom. Whoa! <laughs> this is great. This will definitely work. I know, right? Thank you so much, Bulma. I'm gonna use this right away. Oh, never mind. I don't want one. All right, I'm heading to school now. You must really like that thing. What with you transforming all the time in the evening? Watch out for airplanes. Right. Good luck today, Gohan. You're so cool. <laughs> I know, right? This Goku lookalike is Gohan's younger brother, Goten. He is Goku's second son, who was born after the defeat of Cell. Good thing I'm dressed as the great Saiyan man. Now, I can fly without worrying about being seen. Plus, I'll be on the lookout for evildoers. Wow. 
mine sure makes the commute easier. This will be a cinch. I wonder what's going on in town. Huh? What's happening? More robbers? Still want more? We ain't done yet. Kiss your butt goodbye, little girl. Uh, ah! uh! <laughs> Whoa. I wasn't expecting that. She really is pretty strong. She's gotta be way stronger than her dad. Come on, get up! Don't tell me you're done already! Uh, why, you little... <laughs> oh, what the... Who the hell are you? Hmm? Me? I'm the vanquisher of evil, defender of justice! <laughs> the great Sailman! Nailed it! Those two hours of practice last night paid off. Uh, how lame! Resistance is futile! Now then, Videl, let's apprehend these fiends. He knows my name? I knew it! There's no way in hell I'm letting this bozo take me in. S screw this guy! Let's pump him full of lead! Yeah, he's dead meat! Fools! Justice will always prevail! He, he's some sort of monster! About these ruffians, would you mind escorting them to the police, Videl? They're fine here. I'll make a call and have them picked up. You're pretty strong. You don't want people to know your identity, do you? Oh, uh, yes, that's correct. But are you sure you want to keep this going, Gohan? You're going to be late. Exactly. That's why I have to hurry. I knew it! Huh? You're that Gohan guy from my class, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> Oh, no. B -b Busted. How did you figure it out? I had the perfect disguise in everything. Your voice, mannerisms, plus you knew my name. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs>